try to see all the girls before practice. Uh, right now, ongoing stuff, maybe about four or five uh, out of the 23 on the roster. Check in with them and touch base and make sure everything's not necessarily physically, but uh, emotionally they're doing okay as well. We're gonna get Ali on the uh, on our R2D, on the uh, treadmill and see if, uh, how she can move around and see where she can go to practice today or not. So I'm rehabbing and I did some balance exercises where I had to balance for 30 seconds and he'd give me the ball to volley. You good? Good. I'll get done with these. I want you to run around here like for like 10 minutes, like a good jog. Then go up to 80%, and then go up to 90%. See how she does. This is uh, it's called the Alter G trip, and she's got it on backwards. The Alter G is extremely weird because it like lifts you up, and then I put them on three different times. Inside out or backwards? Inside out. They're usually pretty sharp, but uh, rough day today. It's the Ultra G treadmill, and uh, what we're gonna do is we can take percentage of body weight for her to do a light workout to see where she's at. Uh, so we're gonna start her off with only 70% of her, of her uh, body weight. So right now it's calibrating her. Just stand with your arms to your side. And I didn't know how to run at first. I felt like I was running like awkward. Helpful to know they have all the high tech stuff to actually help you get better, because I know that if you have a tweak, in one or two days, it'll be better. And this is the Normatec, which it's suffocating my limb. <laughs> it doesn't feel too good. We use it more with like acute injuries uh, and with a lot of swelling. So basically the legs are broken down in cells and each cell has a different setting of, of what millimercury pressure for pressure is, is set at. So it compresses in stages uh, and then it decompresses in stages, allowing for some of that constriction and dilation of the blood vessels and allowing for new blood and new oxygenated blood to come down and kind of reoxygenate the muscles. So I do travel with one of these, so we incorporate this with the uh, ice baths and um, also with the massage therapy and the stretching and the foam rolling. Um, it's kind of like a whole package. Hey, can you, you, you gotta get Allie up here like now. So, uh, Put your cleats on, we'll go through the warm-up, and then we'll do a few things on the side and see how you see how you're moving around, okay? Coach Kelly and and, and with Gillian and Jamel, the, her two assistants have done a, a phenomenal job of incorporating um, a very active dynamic warm-up before practice and a very active um, cool down with a lot of stretching involved. It's hard to play 90 minutes on a Friday and then Friday night and then play again midday Sunday another 90 minutes. It's hard on, the, on their bodies. Gabe is phenomenal and so talented. He uh, is invested in each and every one of the student athletes. Uh, he is extremely knowledgeable. I trust him 150% with uh, the care and concern that he is uh, giving to to these young soccer uh, players and um, to have that kind of loyalty and that kind of experience and that kind of support and trust uh, within the staff is, is extremely important for success and, and Gabe certainly brings that for us. Help him as much as we can, uh, not just myself but uh, our, our nutritionist, uh, with our strength staff, even with the coaches, making sure they're doing the proper things to allow their bodies to recover, uh, the proper nutrition, uh, the ice baths after, uh, after games, after practices. Well, the cold tub um, gets rid of a lot of the lactic acid in our legs and helps us from not being as sore the next day since we train pretty much every day. So after every training session, just depending on the level of play that we've had during the week or during the training sessions, we'll do either about 10 to 15 minutes, just depending on how our week went. The first 30 seconds are actually the worst, I would say. I just kind of take the steps down and I kind of walk and keep a straight face and just you just got to go in and all the way in. You can't take little steps in or you won't get in. <laughs> With our schedules and everybody's on different schedules, you know, we can just contact Gabe and let him know what's going on and we can come in here and he can pay attention to us individually even when there's four or five of us here and you know, Gabe really knows what he's doing of course and he can help each individual recover the best to their ability and he knows exactly how each and every one of us recovered. 
Just grab a couple. Not, don't grab all of them, though. Gibbs awesome. He's funny. He gets along with everyone. He knows exactly what he's doing, and he'll try anything to get you back on the field as quick as possible. We're all very comfortable around him, and uh, being that comfortable, it helps us trust him a lot more with recovering for us. I can't talk about you when you're sitting right here. <laughs> I'm leaving. Can you leave me?